Wisconsin, everybody. Yeah, we, we just we crossed it. over. Yeah. We're not well. We're in Wisconsin. We're not. We're not where we have to go. We have to get to Madison. Wait a minute. A lot. Maybe a lot. It's a long drive. Yeah. We are uh, in Wisconsin, just north of Madison, Wisconsin. We actually got here a few days ago and I have no video to show. <laughs> uh, primarily because we met up with um, Jess's sister and her family. They have a farmhouse here in the area. And we went out to their farmhouse, checked it out. We also went down to um, downtown Madison and checked out uh, University of Wisconsin. And it's really nice, like their campus. We had some uh, drinks and some food right on a lake there. There's a student center and a student union that's right on a lake and it's really, really pretty. So we checked that out and um, it was nice and, um, but it's already time to leave. We're only here until Wednesday evening and there's a thunderstorm coming. So I'm trying to hurry up and hitch up the trailer because um, this evening we head to Iowa just for uh, three days, three or four days. And um, so this will be my 49th state. I haven't been to Iowa yet. I think we have a nice spot on a river somewhere. Anyway, um, I gotta get cracking because it's supposed to start thunder and lightning soon. So I gotta hook up and get going. So we're not going to a major city in Iowa, which is probably why we're on this little road and this little kind of dippy little road we have to take for a hundred miles I think. I don't think there's any highways. I think it's just pretty much something like this. Almost all the way. We're about to cross over the mighty miss and enter into Iowa. State number 49. Look at the Mississippi. But here's the deep part of Mississippi. Oh, what was that part then? It's all part of it. It's all part of it. It's all just a little bit. Like a, it's like a dump. Daddy, how deep is it? Oh, no, it's not too deep. But this is a little about to enter Iowa. Welcome to Iowa. Oh, Welcome to Iowa. Iowa. State number 49. City of Marquette. Ba Bam. If anyone's here, if they're not, that says PayPal. So they only accept cash and check. You just stick your money in that little PayPal and away you go. Really nice setting um, but there's one big drawback and that's the flies I have never seen this many flies there's no mosquitoes here but hundreds and hundreds of flies like I mean I'm obviously gonna be hard to tell with this camera but we've probably killed a couple of dozen with our little electric racket already um, and they kind of wait they wait right by the door so as soon as you open that door they, they swoop in I just cooked dinner let's see here look let's see if this comes out Look at all these flies. Look at all of them. They're everywhere. 
I don't know why. I mean, yeah, there's farms nearby, but I mean, we've been close to farms many times and never had it like this. Um, so it kind of makes it, it's hard to be outside because you're just constantly swatting, swatting, swatting. So anyway, that's the one, the one drawback of this place. I'm going to go inside now. Friday evening and we're gonna leave here a bit early. We were supposed to leave tomorrow morning early, but um, we have a long drive, number one, tomorrow. Um, so we wanna break it up, but uh, with all the flies that have been here, I didn't wanna have a Friday happy hour here. So we're gonna just drive by an hour to a harvest host. Plus it's raining, so I'd rather drive when it's raining instead of sitting inside the airstream. So we're gonna hit the road and go to a, a winery. One interesting thing about here is uh, I didn't think we were going to be able to work and yeah there was zero T-Mobile and I thought I was going to have to commute to work so there was no T-Mobile. The Verizon we had one bar which is not even remotely enough to work. However this is the first time my cell booster I have that Wii Boost which you know sometimes it seems to work maybe but most of the time it doesn't seem to do much but this time it boosted up from one bar to five so I was I couldn't believe it so I was fortunate enough where uh, I could just work here and didn't have to commute, so that was nice. Here we are, not sure where we gotta go here. Maybe right up here where it all the, on the left here. So you can see we're <laughs> pulling in right to the winery. And here's the winery here. It's so cute. We're gonna have dinner here tonight, have some wine to drink. It'll be fun. Here we are. And check this out. We've got 50 amps. They're giving us 50 amps. Um, it's harvest host, so you know you normally stay for free, although you you know you you buy some stuff that they're selling, whatever, but they do charge $7 just for the um, electric, which we're more than happy to pay for. Because um, we got 50 amps, so we can have AC, even though we don't really need the AC today. It's so nice and cool. But here's what we're looking at here. This is a restaurant and a vineyard right here. And they got wine and food. And um, we're going to go in there and enjoy it. So... Hey, over here. Mmm, wow, what a cool place. Wow. Don't, don't eat that one, I got one. All right, we just got some wine flights. I got two, because it's a happy, happy hour. And uh, we ordered some food. Yeah, Jess even has, they even have a wine slushy. Let's do family booze cheers. Family booze cheers? All right, cheers. Cheers. Right. Hey, see, where's my cheers, Logan? You already, you're already hitting the, the bottle there, huh? Yeah, good stuff. Mm. Look at this. Nice view all to ourselves here. Very pretty here. Yeah, you can eat it. Yeah. Mm. We got some really good flatbread pizza. A really good um, sandwich that's gone. You have a nice sandwich that you're eating. It's good. It's the wine good. is good. I'm going to get some more. This is really good. A plus for this harvest host. Really good. How's that pizza, Logan? It's good. Yeah. That was good. And we just had Amish apple and peach pie for dessert. So now we got to just retire and stumble all the way back to our home right there and bring whatever wine we haven't finished yet <laughs> but all in all this is a it's a nice harvest host see what we got here i just paid our bill at the winery there and i couldn't resist getting this dish towel for 
for our airstream in light Jingle of all the, bell. In all the time we spent at Disney World. What does it say, Logan? Jingle Bell. Jingle <laughs> Bell. Yes, Drinker Bell. Yes. I'm teaching the kids all the important things in life. All right. Time Dad, to I love the 80s. You love the 80s. Yes, she does. All right. Time to get ready for bed, guys. No. It's a foggy, cloudy, overcast, cool morning here at the winery. And uh, time to head to Minnesota. Uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, with terrible air quality right now because of the fires in the west. <laughs> Gotta get some Chick fil A lunch. So, had to take up a few parking spots. That's us. Shady Rest Resort. We got a little sign out here. What? I see the playground! Where? There's our nice spot. Um, there's a lake right there. And we got a playground right here in front of our airstream for the kids. Um, this is going to be a tricky spot to get out of. To pull in. I pulled in. And look, look what's right in front of the airstream trees. So pulling at an angle, I unhitched. You can see how much of an angle we're at. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to leave it. It's going to be, might be a little tricky getting the, the hitch back in there. And then off to just kind of shimmy out here. The other issue we had is I went to go plug in and my surge protector said that uh, the polarity was reversed. That means the neutral and the hot wires were wired in reverse. Um, from what I'm looking online, like, you know, it's a lot of times it's everything will just work fine, but it could also affect your, negatively affect your appliances or safety issues. So the guy did come out and I had him uh, change it and then he changed it. So he just, you know, just repairs the wires inside the box. So we're all good to go there. So anyway, let me go take a quick look at the lake. Where are we going? We're going to the Vikings. We're going to see some Viking history at the museum, right? The Viking Museum. And we're going to check out all the artifacts that the Vikings have. Um, I guess the Vikings settled in the Minnesota area, so it's huge Vikings influence. And today's kids' lessons are, who are the Vikings and where do they come from? Okay? Okay. All right, let's go. Fort Alexander Agricultural Museum. Wow, look at this little town here. Okay, oh look, there's a Viking back there standing. Do you see the big Viking statue, Livia? This is Fort Alexandria. You had no idea this area has so much Viking history and post office and general store. Livia, you're going into the general store. Hi, Logan. Back then, when you went to the store, this is what the store would look like. Look at the stove. It keeps everyone warm. Just like an Elsa. Remember when she went to, um, to the, the general's trading post? Look at the shoes. Look, this is where they, they fix the shoes. Right? And then... Mama, yes, that's a Native American Indian lady. Look, this is where they make the weaving cloth. See? And a big fire to keep, like Oakenshield's um, supply store. This is the smokehouse back here. Wow. And wash house. This is a schoolhouse. Livia and Logan's going to school. Are you sitting down at your school? What are you learning today, guys? Uh, I don't know. Are you
Are you learning about Vikings today? Are you learning about Vikings? Yeah. A Viking merchant ship. Wow. Copies of structure in an ocean going Viking merchant ship found wreck in the harbor of Denmark. Wow, the replica. Kingsington Ruin Stone. Placed in Douglas County by the Vikings in 1362. Found in 1890. See, look. 1898. Ruinstone Museum. See, look, this is their ancient writings, you see? How did they write on the rock? Well, they took a, a, a little tool and they chipped it in there. This was found here in Mom, Minnesota. He, huh? Thor. Where's Thor? He looks like Thor. But he's not Thor. He's not Thor. He's not Thor. He's not Thor. I don't think, did we show anyone a new contraption? <laughs> so I ordered this off of Amazon. It's allowed me to exercise and I've been doing it simultaneously for what? Uh, continuously for like a week? Yeah, now? so this thing you fold up and you put uh, in a truck yep. and the bike goes on it. And, and I can use it. Like Let's see you go. All right, I'm getting your Oreo cookies. Hold on. It seems like a lot of work to go nowhere. Exercising. <laughs> you know the concept yeah. of exercising? Well, you could, you could save your money, any effort, and not have that. Exercise just like that, but get to see something other than this as you ride around. Yes, that would be my dream if I didn't have kids. But since I have kids, I have to keep my eyes on them. I'm out here. Well, we've been here for almost a week. It's Friday evening and it's time to leave. Feels like we've been here a lot longer. I don't know why. Kids have been super active. They made friends with other kids that were here from Alaska all week and Livia's already crying. She doesn't want to leave. She's been playing with them literally from eight in the morning to eight at night, playing and playing and playing, her and Logan. So, but I mean, it always happens and then they make new friends. Um, um, right away so anyway we're gonna uh, hit the road I already hitched up and I feel fortunate because I had a hitch up on this really odd angle with the trees there and I was able to do it without too much trouble it was a little tricky but I mean you can see the trees I can only get the truck over so much and with this stinger you know coming at an angle it's not always as easy as with, the, with a ball hitch. But we're all set, just waiting for Jeff to take a shower and we pack the kids up. And tonight we head to Fargo, North Dakota. And so tonight will be my 50th state. So I'll have done all 50, so pretty cool. Um, anyway, I'm gonna finish packing up now. We're leaving this RV park and pork chops very sad. I know. Because she has some good, good friends. She made a really good friend there that she played with all week. And they got she got her address though. You can write her a letter, right, Pork Chop? <laughs> yeah, you can you can write her a letter. Don't worry, we're gonna meet new people and you're gonna get to see her again when we go to Alaska maybe. Okay? Yeah. I know it's always sad to leave. It was a nice day, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, so you guys like that, right? You have fun too, Logan? Yeah. Logan seems to be unaffected by the... <laughs> All right. <laughs>